<risa> Estamos acá en mi casa con un amigo, acá con Kyle. Kyle estuvo tocando, bueno, él tiene su propia carrera como solista, como songwriter y, y toca excelente. Me gusta mucho su música. Pero en el pasado también ha tocado con Gilby Clark en una banda que se llamaba Candy. De ahí que a veces lo, lo tomamos su música por el lado del rock. ¿Ok? Eh, bueno, lo tenemos acá y nos va a contar un poquito qué está haciendo en estos momentos. Kyle. Hey, how are you? Nice how to are you? you? Nice to see you, Lucas. Tell me what's going, what are you doing? Uh, you produce so many CDs after Candy, obviously. So, what's going on with you in the present? Yeah, right now uh, I'm working, uh, I'm in the studio again. I'm um, working on my 11th <laughs> album, if you can wow. believe that. Yeah, I know it's a lot. I, I think I've made the most albums uh, in the history of the world for somebody who is not famous, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm working on 11 and, um, and uh, touring. You know, playing, I'm out in L.A. right now playing shows, and I just keep doing that. As long as the people uh, say they like it, I'll keep going. What is the name of the new CD? You're gonna? Do you have something? Do you have more information? I don't know. The newest one. I'm I'm in the studio right now, so I don't I don't really have a name. I have an idea, but uh, but I'm not sure yet. Um, okay. Yeah. The last the the previous CD yes. I did a. Um, uh, I call it the best so far because I hope it. You know, a lot of times you do your best of and your career is over with. So. Okay. Yeah, the best. <laughs> I just this is this was. Um, You know, the reason I did this was because I, I'm on airplanes. Uh, I fly on airplanes a lot, and I meet people, right? They go, well, what is your music like? And I wanted, uh, like, a calling card. I wanted, like, all in one place, because otherwise it was like, well, if, you, if you're mellow, you'll like this one. If you rock, you might like this one, If you, you know? So you have a, so, something for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, like, the, what I think is the best from each album. Um, yeah. But this is the best off. Right? Best of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because Ariane is from. Yeah. Yeah. I can't call it greatest hits because I really haven't had any hits, sort of, so I couldn't really do that. No? Not even one? Well, maybe one baby. Oh, one, okay. One little. Okay. Small Don't be so little. humble, okay? <laughs> one small. <laughs> yeah. any, any, uh, any story you can tell about your. in the beginning when you were in Candy? Most of the candy stories I, I'm unable, I can't tell you because I'd probably be arrested. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, uh, boy, there's so many stories with candy. It was really a, it was a fun time. Um, it was, you know, the Sunset Strip was, was kind of in, a, in a, a new period of, it was emerging and it was very exciting. I mean, every single night I went out to the Troubadour. Every single night, I saw Poison's first show. Wow. I saw Wasps' first show. I saw, you know, Mont I mean, there's a lot of people who can say this, but it was just very exciting. Every single night, and uh, and Candy was, um, you know, we were really a, a pop band. We were very sweet pop, really, you know, because I'm I'm really a pop '70s kind of guy. I'm more like a, you know, a crooner singer. I'm not I'm not really a rocker. Hmm. And the band, you know, Gilby is a little more of a rocker. And so I think when we got together, it, it was a kind of a nice blend uh, of the band. It was a little rock, but it was a little pop. And so we would be playing shows, and um, and we'd be playing with all these really tough rock bands, you know, like Rat, you know, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who were friends of ours, you know, and we were friends with all of them. But we were kind of the, uh, you know, we were the ones that the, 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 the girls, you know, ooh, Candy, you know. And, and, uh, <laughs> and Candy, and the name, obviously. Yeah, you're right, ooh. And we had a little heart, our, our, our logo, and it was so wimpy. We were so wimpy. But we, we kind of did it on purpose. It was a strategy because we figured out everybody else in Hollywood was like, yeah. you rock and roll, you know? And we weren't like that. So we thought, you know, not every girl wants to do that. So we would, be, we would take the girls, and we had a little heart as our logo. We wore a little, you know, like pink shirts and pink and guitars. And you had the best girls in the town. Well, yeah, you're, not, the you're not silly. Those are the stories I can't tell you. But <laughs> anyway, it was, a, it was an exciting time, let's just tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Great. Are you still in touch with Gilby, right? With everybody, yeah. With uh, Jonathan and John and Gilby and, and uh, yeah. Yep. Have you okay. talked about to do something together again? Something? Well, I, actually, um, it's interesting you say that because I have tried for so long to get the Candy album uh, re-released, you know? Um, 
Yeah, because so it's hard to find. It's very hard to find. And it was remastered um, many years ago, by uh, you know, properly remastered. And, um, and they were planning to release it. It never came out on CD, believe it or not. Uh, it had a catalog number, but it actually was never released on CD. It only came out on, on vinyl, LP, and cassette. And um, so for about 10 years now, I've been trying really hard to get it. So I fi- I just, we just secured a deal with uh, a company in, um, in England, a big, and I'm just rock candy. Rock Candy, which is a, a yes, big, yes. very big uh, reissue label, very big, and they're really good. And um, so they're going to put it out. I would guess probably early next year. Oh, it's it's in process. Oh yeah, it's in the process. The oh, deal's signed. Okay, okay. It's ready to go. They're working on the liner notes. I already sent in. You know, they did interviews with all of us, so I sent mine in. And um, you're going to include me in your. In I'll your try group. to sneak oh. you in. Uh, yeah, it costs ten dollars for each mention. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can charge the, the cameraman. <laughs> there you go. Right. right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the rich one. Um, so that should come out probably the beginning, maybe maybe early next year. And, I mean, you never know. Maybe we'll do a couple shows. There was some talk of maybe, you know, New York, L.A., Chicago. But, uh, you know, I don't know. We we all have busy schedules. Uh, Where are you living now? I live on the East Coast, uh, in New England, in Massachusetts. How is yeah. the, the, uh, the scene, the rock, pop? music scene in, in that uh, there's none the only scene uh-huh. back there is you know like cows and, <laughs> and horses and sheep and you know things like that there's no scene which i, I love actually i th- i don't play any shows around there oh, uh, okay. purposely it's just my home so i just live there and it's nice and peaceful and quiet and that's just a separate really separate life and then I get on a plane and everything changes. My hair changes and you know, the makeup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I put on the sunglasses and I'm in Hollywood all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, those yeah, are yeah. mine. Don't forget. <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it back but there. But you say, Cal, there are some girls in the area or, or you are screwed, totally screwed up? <laughs> no, I was referring to actual cows. To actually, like, moose. Yeah, no, no, no. I was, was not speaking about the girls who are very lovely back there. <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah. We say, you know, in my country, there's a lot of country, you know, area. And, you know, some people live solo, guys mostly, uh, protecting the, the big areas, you know, with cows and, and mm-hmm. ships. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's a legend, you know, because there are no women. And a jeep is so, you know... Mushy, I don't know what, what is the word. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> You're yeah, on your own on yeah. this one. <laughs> you, know, the, you know, the friendly the, maybe. The lights yeah. go down. You yeah. know, you're in a barn. You know, we are, we 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 have some needs. And men have needs. Yeah. You know, and from the right angle, the cow looks. You know. <laughs> yeah, pretty. I know yeah. some very good-looking cows. Let me tell you, <laughs> there's some very pretty ones just down the road. Yes. Great, hey, man. There's anything that you want to share with your friends besides the cows and all this love, heart? Yeah. Oh, you have the other CDs. You can uh, show sure, them. You can not? tell them. Yeah. You can tell them where they can they can get the copies. Yeah, you know, just my website, kylevincent.com or um, Facebook. You can go to my Facebook band page. That's the best way. Send me a, a email. Let me know you saw this interview, and I hope you edit it so that we sound <laughs> look good. <laughs> Uh, so that, that's one, where you are. This is nice. This is taken in... I go to Japan a lot. You know, I have a, lot, oh, okay. a really good fan base yeah. in Japan. Very dedicated. So all these pictures were taken in Japan uh, off this album. Okay. Um, uh, so, me, yep, yep, me. yep. Yeah. So and, um, right. Yeah. Okay. And then this one, I do... This is the third in a series of... Um, that's why I call it C-Sides, because right, there's A-Sides, B-Sides. This yes, is I know. C-Sides, yeah. Essentially, this is crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, as a songwriter, all right, uh, I write what I think are really good songs, and I write songs that might need some help, and then I write stuff that, like, well, nobody's ever going to hear this. But fans, you know, your hardcore fans, they want to hear everything, right? That's, that's why the cover. You hear it, or I going to go meet to I'm going to go jump in the ocean. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so this is Seaside. There's even worse songs than this, believe it or not. Now, oh, no, okay. I, I'm really being kind of funny. There's, there's someone in Spanish. There's good stuff on here. There's a couple in Spanish. Yeah, Mañana. Uh, yeah, Mañana. Uh, let's see. I had one from another album, I think, called Quiero, Quiero Amarte, which I actually wrote with uh, Argentina, Argentinian mm-hmm. um, uh, young lady. Oh, okay. Uh, she wrote the words. I wrote the music. And I sing it in Spanish. Wow, nice. Yep. Well, you, you speak some Spanish. Uh, yeah, a little. Um, 
I mostly when I go to a Spanish speaking country, they they think I'm Italian because my Spanish yeah, sounds Italian. Oh, nice! Yeah. Like Argentinian style. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, because we have the same accent. I mean, see, yeah. See and so I sang it Argentinian style with the jo and the jo and all that. Sure. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Because the uh, because the lady was Argentinian, so she would uh, coach me. Oh, start. okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's common that. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Bring me to Argentina. I want to come down there. Kile Vincent. Kile Vincento. <laughs> si. Thank you. Muy guapo. Yeah.